All right, let's start things off. I'm actually getting really good NFL coverage this weekend. I get the Colts game, and I like to watch the Colts. Uh, I think I get the Broncos and Jets, which is a fairly significant game. And um, I get another good game. I think it might be the Pittsburgh-New England game. Something. But anyway, pick them. Um, got the Colts over the Browns, obviously. Mm, you know, pretty easy stuff there. I, I could see this New Eng Indianapolis team winning out, 12-4. and four. If Tennessee decides to rest their starters for the last game of the season. I'm, I'm feeling it. New Orleans, Tampa Bay. You know, any given Sunday, Drew Brees can go for 500 yards and six touchdowns or whatever and completely blow a game open. And it's h difficult to predict. But my rule of thumb for the NFC South right now is pick the home team and Tampa Bay's the home team. I think I'm going to stick with that until it um, fails me. So I'm taking Tampa Bay. Buffalo, Carolina. Uh, excuse me. Buffalo, San Francisco. Uh, Buffalo got something started last week, but they need to keep winning if they have any hope of the postseason. Their schedule is actually pretty favorable. They could end up going 10-6, and six, which might be good enough. It might be. No guarantees there, though. Uh, Baltimore, Cincinnati. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking Baltimore there. Pretty easily, pretty easy stuff here. I don't really feel the need to talk about this one too much. <laughs> Giants, Redskins. Uh, this Plexico Burris thing, it makes me think. I guess he shot himself. Although I'm waiting for the Zapruder film of this thing to be released because I'll bet there was a second shooter or something. Because if somebody releases a tape like this, you know I'm going to be analyzing it like back and to the left. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. Something like that. But anyway, the Giants have not really needed Plexico out there this season. They are moving away from Plexico. They don't... I think they're trying to almost prove a point to him, like, okay, you're going to be a troublemaker. We'll put you in the corner. We don't need you to keep winning. And they don't. They keep winning. So I don't think that's really a concern for them. I think they can run all over any team in the league except Pittsburgh. I think they can... Um, dominate any opposing team off um, defensively so I will still take the Giants even though they will definitely not have Plexico tomorrow over the Washington Redskins should be a good game though oh that's the other game I get um, Giants and Redskins so that's a pretty good spread uh, Carolina Green Bay you know both teams are coming off disappointing games that they could have would have wanted to have won pretty badly Carolina against Atlanta, Green Bay against New Orleans, so... You know, I'm going to take a little bit of an upset here and take the home team in Green Bay. I think they're going to be more desperate. I think Carolina thinks to themselves, well, this game, it's kind of important, but we still get to play Tampa, and that's going to be the really important game. Meanwhile, Green Bay has to be in a little bit of desperation mode, so I'm going to take my chances with Green Bay. Yeah. Uh, Miami, St. Louis. I'm I'm taking Miami there. You know, I I expect Miami can to continue to win the games that they should win if by a close margin. So I'm taking Miami. Atlanta, San Diego. Atlanta's coming off that huge win last week. San Diego is coming up. Has you know this season for San Diego has been one gigantic stomach punch after another. I could analyze every game of this season and why it's been such a stomach punch. I won't. But if you guys have been paying attention to the San Diego Chargers this year, you know what I'm talking about. So, you know, I wouldn't put it past them to get stomach punched again. A last second Hail Mary to Roddy White for the win. Uh, a field goal on the last play of the game by Atlanta. Um, something like that. But, you know, San Diego, desperation seeps in and... Atlanta has to be riding high a little bit after they knocked off Carolina. And San Diego's at home, Atlanta traveling all the way out there to the West Coast. I'm I'm going to take the Chargers. I'm taking the upset here. Jets, Broncos. I'm a little wary of this Denver team because I know they're very explosive offensively and they're just coming off a very disappointing loss, but I don't think they match up well to the Jets. 
I think the Jets can run all over them and force enough turnovers from Cutler to win this game. So I'm taking the Jets. Pittsburgh, New England. All the props in the world for Matt Castle, but he has not seen a defense like this yet. He has, you know, been able to play very well the last couple weeks against the Jets and Dolphins, but this Pittsburgh defense is not only the best defense this season, it might be one of the better of all time. It's playing extremely well. It's getting no help from the offense or special teams. Um, so I'm pretty confident here that Pittsburgh takes it, even with all the injuries that they have right now. I'm, I'm pretty positive here. Kansas City, Oakland. Uh, nothing worse than a toilet bowl for Pickham, but I, I guess I'll take Oakland. They, they seem more committed to winning than Kansas City to me, even though both teams are really bad. I, I think Oakland shows more of a commitment to winning. Like it, it, it's a little hard to describe, but you know, Oakland—they've got McFadden back, and he's a nice threat to have. Jamarcus Russell's starting to get his feet under him. More than anything, it's just a home team pick. But I feel like Oakland is just a little more committed to winning right now. Uh, Chicago, Minnesota. I've been thinking about this. I think this has got to be one of those take the home team and close my eyes and hope for the best. Even though I think Chicago is the better team and I don't like a lot of things about this Minnesota team, I think I'll take Minnesota at home and count on Adrian Peterson to have a big game. Finally, in Jacksonville, Houston, the Monday Nighter, and you know, it almost makes you wish you could flex Monday night games. Obviously, you can't, but. It almost makes you wish it could happen. I'm... I, I, I guess I'll take Jacksonville. Even though my head, all the logic in the world tells me to take Houston, I'm going to continue to take Jacksonville in situations where maybe I shouldn't. Just, just a feeling I have about them wanting to unite around, see if they can save the jobs of some of the players on that team, because a lot of them are in jeopardy right now. So... There we go. I will see you guys after the games tomorrow and Monday.